computer peripherals for gaming and uh, Icarus is of course sponsored by Papa John's better ingredients better pizza Papa John's be sure to type in uh, Icarus in your order to get a free I think a two liter Pepsi or something like that I'm not sure that's awesome and uh, it looks like we are going live one interesting thing I was a uh, on Tuesday, cast the match. It was a uh, tripart versus no more triples, and tripart actually ran three cappers on this map, and did it to a very, very awesome strategy because they had such great cappers. And uh, Icarus is, also has great cappers as well in uh, Vector and uh, excuse me, and Kevin. And uh, we'll see if they make any changes in the uh, roster. It doesn't look like it, so I don't really see. Astralis is a capper in Tribe suit, so they might be running triple capper here. Would not surprise me. But with the 10-second countdown coming up, we're going to get a readdown of the rosters here on Bloody Gold. This is Icarus again. We have Killer, Mavi, Chambers, Echoes, Astralis, Vector, Zepto, and Kevin over on Diamond Sword. This is Area 51. We have Blinks, Vash, Eric's, Pliff, Warchief, Slapo, Player 3, Warchief, Rideho, Brick, and Zoid Bergenstein. And uh, these teams are going underway here. And it looks like Killer, actually, is not going to be running Raider. He's going to go straight to Juggy with that Merv launcher, as, as well as Vash Eric's a very good uh, Juggy for Team Area 51. Yeah, and again, Area 51 missing their uh, Star Scope tailspin tonight. Usually we would see Zepto uh, filling a similar role for Icarus, but right now he's playing a heavy on flag, a Hoff as a Doombringer, and Chambers playing that role. So maybe that's, that has something to do with that. Well, they'll probably be switching it up here soon. Sentinel is a great way to uh, rack up those. Uh, Kevin makes a pickup a look. <laughs> He's coming in and misses the flag. Uh, but yes, yeah, Chambers is probably running that Sentinel class because it makes it, it's a lot easier to rack up those credits. And Chambers is a very good striker, so he wants to get that strike out ASAP. And uh, I'm sure Zepto would be switching it up from Doombringer to uh, back to Sentinel once Zepto gets up, or Chambers gets up in that uh, strike. Yeah, uh, a few we, Area 51 guys tried to get at that flag, but couldn't quite do it. And right now, it um, looks like Icarus is just hanging on to it at the side yeah, of the Yeah, and base. Vector is now coming in for a back to front. He's going to get chained down immediately, though. Nice chain there by uh, Titan and uh, going to deny uh, Vector. Killer is over here trying to clear the flag stand in Raider. And uh, I also see here Blinks is actually going to be doing the scope here. Kevin now coming in. Uh, he is actually doing a front to back. It looks like, oh, actually just missing his head on that flag stand. But no, Titan is going to make a blind uh, body block there on Kevin. Once again, big plays <laughs> on the stand from both teams. Yeah, Titan a very good Hoth. And uh, now it looks like we have Vector coming in. The, and uh, he is out, but no, actually he's not out. He's going to get taken out, and the flag is returned. So uh, we do have Blinks again running that Sentinel class here for Area 51. Not the usual scoper, but uh, doing a pretty good job as he is uh, number two on his team as far as points. And we actually have Titan number one. And it uh, looks like we have Zoid Bergenstein setting up, as well as Kevin. Kevin already on a fast route, but he's probably about 30 seconds out. And uh, going to go see here. Don't actually see Zoid. Where is he? Kevin and Vector appear to be running uh, cross routes. Sometimes they'll run uh, opposite sides like that and run cross routes, and sometimes they will ghost each other, like go one, two behind each other as a team. But it looks like this time they're running side routes as Zoidberg gets one out and it's dropped. Yep, and Killer is there, uh, but uh, Brick is coming in to try and pick this flag up out of the field. Killer is almost dead. Brick is going to pick it up. I don't. And Pliff is coming in trying to cover him. I think Pliff is running Pathfinder now. He was running Infiltrate. Oh, nice return, though, by Stralis. So that flag is going to get secured. Uh, Pliff almost making that midfield grab. but And it looks like we have Vector and Kevin running out on one of those ghost routes. And uh, and everything kind of uh, just slow over here on Area 51 side for the time being. E Echoes is coming in, trying to clear with that Raider. I actually don't see a killer anywhere. Let's take a look at the generators. Uh Yeah, and Echo's now coming in, taking out that force field. Vector and Kevin setting up both back routes. Vector is going to get taken out immediately by a nice body block there by Titan. And Kevin going to mess up his route a little bit and just immediately suicide. And it is still 0-0 here with almost uh, four minutes taken out of the game. Yeah, and Titan always a force on the stand for Area 51. I was interested to see how he's going to contend with these uh, two cappers running multiple routes at him. Yeah, and so, no, far, so far, very well. Very, very well. And Zoid Bergenstein setting up for a back route. He's going to Nitron. He's going about 300 right now. Oh, but he's going to get taken out by a nice shot by Mavi. That was a, uh, a thumper, I believe, and I'm going to cough. Oh. <laughs> yeah, take a breath, man, because a lot's happening, even though there's still no score as we near the 21-minute mark here. Actually, Vector's coming in for a back to route. Oh, wow! 
Titan getting taken out perfectly timed. Vector is going to take a snipe in the back there from Blinks, uh, making it another snipe. Blinks been doing very good scoping here for Area 51. Vector going to come in. Looks like he might cap it, and he does. He does. So first score up on the board, one nothing here in favor of Icarus. Yep, a quick strike by Icarus there. Wow, a lot of flag clearing going on here for Zoid. Zoid, though, is Zepto doing a very good Doombringer here, taking Zoid out with that body block. Cliff now is just going to go through and Llama grab it and try and uh, take this flag over uh, to the midfield. Not going very fast. He's going to get Nitron out of his hands there by Astralis. And now uh, he goes down, and the flag is going to get returned home to us by Astralis. Yeah, he was probably hoping to punt that, but uh, well-placed Nitron thwarted it for him. And uh, Zoid looks like messing up a, a bit, and he's actually going to try and just punt that flag off. Astralis so is going to be babysitting and a flag, but Vector with a really fast route here. He's going 342 right now. He is hauling, and he is, does not have a lot of HP, but it's very hard to snipe a player going that fast. Uh, everyone over on the uh, Icarus flag, they are collapsing it right now. We have Zepto, Chambers, Astralis, and Mavi all on it. But Brick is going to get a nice SMG on, but he's going to get oh. taken out by Astralis, and Mavi's going to come in, make the cap, making it 2 nothing now here in favor of Icarus. A nice follow-up by Mavi to get that cap in, and they are up by two all of a sudden. Here's yeah. Kevin again. Wow. Kevin out with another fast route. He's not looking as good, though. Brick might be able to snipe him here. He's trying to get into the position to do that. Only about a quarter HP. Everyone right now is trying to chase him down. We have Slapo behind him. Chambers is going to start escorting, though, with this strike. Uh, Zoid Bergenstein now behind with that Lar. Chambers is going to be taking out uh, Zoid Bergenstein with a ram. Now Kevin is going to thrust, toss his flag to Zepto. Missed the pass off, though. Vash Eriks might come in and make the return here in this fatty suit. He's coming in, almost getting it, but he's, it's, this flag is getting taken all over the place. Kevin now picking it up. He's going to punt it off. Flag now is going to be all the way over on the other side of Icarus's bat base. Astralis is ba babysitting Icarus's flag in the uh, in the field right now. Zepto and Echoes and Kevin now all over here trying to get keep this flag alive. Zoid Bergenstein now going to flip around, trying to get a Nitron on the flag stand. Perfect time return. And Kevin's going to make the cap 3 nothing now in favor of Icarus. And Icarus is starting to run away with it. Yeah, even though Area 51 has been running some very solid stand clearing, but that Shrike is now in play, and Chambers managed to hassle things just enough to disrupt that for him, and the cap is made. Yeah, no, we... But, yeah, of course, Area 51, I'm missing quite a few players this time around, unfortunately, Tailspin, and... Uh, I can't think of who their uh, their other capper is actually. Zoid is really the only name that comes to mind. But Vector is going to pick it up from a back to front. He's going to punt that flag off now midfield, and uh, we'll see if Area 51 is able to just return this flag. It looks like War Chief Slapoho is going to be there to make the return, and he's going to immediately suicide after making that return. Yeah, I know that a lot of the time Area 51 runs uh, Zoid Bergen's lead capper, and he's got it again now. And Pandalol, who is a uh, War Chief Slapoho, I believe, also is is usually their their second guy when they need him. Yeah, but Zoid Bergenstein actually making it all the way over the hill. Kevin going to come and make an e-grab, punt that flag off far. Uh, Killer now here trying to merv... Uh, sorry, I just hit my mic stand. But uh, Zoid Bergenstein going to go through, uh, drop that flag off to player three, and we're going to see a cap here by Area 51. So one to three now uh, in favor of Icarus still, but Area 51 getting up on the board. Yeah, nice team effort by them to get a point back, and it is now three to one as we head to 17 minutes. And Vector, once again, a lot of chain fire on him, guitar guy. Yeah, he's not looking too good. He's going to get sniped down by Blinks. Mavi, though, is going to come out here uh, from Soldier on Flag. Pick that flag up, taking a lot of damage of doing so. He's going to punt that flag off now. Very nice punt. Zepto trying to snipe down these uh, incoming Area 51 chasers. Vector now going to pick up the flag. He's uh, almost going to get stopped there by... Oh, wow, Zoid Bergenstein going to come in, punt that flag. Just keep it alive long enough for someone to come in here and make a clutch play. Vector not looking too good. Brick and Vash Eriks are on top of him. Uh, Vash Eriks is running Jug. We have Blinks, too. Flag goes down. Zepto's going to pick it up, but he is running Sentinel. That is not a good class to be holding this flag in. It's going to get returned. It's going to be able to cap it. Somehow he caps it through all that madness, making it run Whoa. the floor. What a play. I have no idea how that happened, but Zepto is just sitting there running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Well, I know Area 51 had a lot of almost their Pliff almost had a mid-air return that would have stopped that to begin with. But just uh, so, several things that didn't work out. And War Chief Slapo grabs it and drops it here. Looks like it's going to be punted to uh, midfield. Yeah, Vash Eriks is there to pick it up. Is he going to be? Actually, he's going to leave it for Brick. And uh, we had uh, Slapaho go down. He got taken out by Zepto's snipe. Uh, now the flag is coming in. He's taking some snipes, but he's going to make the cap. And uh, the, now it's going to be two to four here. So... 
Uh, Area 51 needs to hold this last cap to uh, come back in this game. And now Vector picks up the flag on the other side. Zoid Bergenstein had the flag. It is now midfield. And uh, Plitt and Vash Eriks are there. Strauss are coming in behind. He's going to make a nice return. And now Player 3 is returning the flag for Area 51. And uh, Killer and Echoes over there. Echoes going down. Killer now the last man standing over here for Team Icarus running that Juggy class. And uh, looks like actually, uh, wow, some killer actually taking out Titan. So this flag is clear. Uh, we'll see if Kevin's coming in as I believe Vector just died. Yeah, both flags sitting on the stand. And uh, yeah, Vector is on his way making a run. It takes a little longer to set up your runs on Catabatic, obviously, as a larger map. Yeah, we. Uh, it looks like Killer now going through, taking out uh, Area 51's generator. And a Brick now coming in, actually going to make a, uh, just clear this flag off. The flag is completely open for Icarus, but on the other side, Kevin picks up the flag. He's going to get scoped down, though, by Blinks. But Zoid, he's out. Oh, nice turret, though. Turret is actually going to be saving uh, Zoid Bergenstein from getting anywhere further. And now the flag is going to be uh, babysat in the field. Bash Eric's going to come and try and keep it alive a little bit longer, but... Uh, not much he's going to be able to do as he is juggy, and he can just get that flag Nitron out of his hands immediately. And then now both flags back at home. So 2 to 4, 14 minutes, 38 seconds remaining in the map, and Icarus is up here by 2 against Area 51, uh, taking the first map in a hard-fought map, and now uh, just here, and this is just as hard as to fought up the map. Yeah. Uh, very, um, Icarus sitting at match po or game point anyway, and uh, Area 51 definitely uh, trying to hold serve here. Yeah, we have Zoid Bergenstein setting up for front to back. Chambers is already on him. Not uh, Zoid Bergenstein, though, still full HP. Pliff now coming in, uh, trying to confuse the defense there, but not going to happen. Now Zoid is going to pick it up and punt the flag off. Brick is there in Raider to try and pick this flag up out of the midfield. Going to go take a look at Area 51's flag stand. Don't see it. We have Kevin actually setting up uh, and Vector. Uh, they are already getting sniped down, though, but here by Blink, so... Vector is actually going to be regenerating HP right now. We'll see what happens. We have a ton of flag D here. He's going to shoot. He's actually going to get immediately taken out by Titan's amazing uh, Ch Doombringer chain gun. That guy's just insane with that thing. And uh, Kevin now going to be going through and setting up for another route. Yeah, he's going to have to deal with uh, both War Chiefs too when he does. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, can they hear you or not when you're talking to us? Okay. <laughs> Craig is uh, in our ears, so that's sometimes why you hear some dead air. But, I mean, essentially, uh, as far as everything that's going on, what these teams are trying to achieve, obviously, is capture the flag, and it is an 8v8. So usually what you see here, you have a four-man uh, split. You'll have four people on defense and four people on offense. And uh, actually, let's stay, take a look at Zoid Bergenson. I'll get back to that in a second. He is out. Uh, he's not having a lot of HP, though. Zepto here trying to get the snipe on him. Is he going to be able to do it? Snipes coming in, missing left and right, though. Zoid is going to make it all the way over the hill, taking not actually taking fall damage. Somehow going to punt that flag off. Is he going to get to the flag stand? Uh, nice pickup by Brick. Wow. Brick Vector is going to come in and make it an e-grab. He's not looking too good, though. Um, on the other side, uh, oh, it actually gets Nitron out by Astralis. Player 3 is going to come and pick up the flag, though. And now just so much. Chambers is going to get a mid-air strike missile on him. Brick now picks up the flag. Merv right on him, though. Echoes is right there trying to take out Brick. On the other side, the flag gets dropped by Vector. We'll see if anyone's going to be able to return. It looks like uh, War Chief Sapo is going to come in, uh, try and make the uh, pickup. Now we have a... Uh, who's this? This is Titan, who's actually going to make the cap, so three to four. So, wow, just wow. insanity coming out from both these teams. Hard-fought caps every single time. Um, but yes, essentially what's uh, going on right now, this is an 8v8 game, so what you'll see... Uh, dang, Chambers is now going to come in and pick up a strike. Uh, make a shrike grab a uh, running technician this could be it though chambers is going to punt that flag off with the thumper and now uh we have killer kevin mavi astralis and zepta all over here to cover the flag astralis is going to be on it going to get any nitrons on anyone that's coming in and this could be it mavi's coming in to finish off this game and it is three to five in favor of team icarus here and we'll be going on to another map and everybody says good game, and it certainly was. I, I like that route that Chambers was running there at the end. We see a lot of people using that. It keeps you low, and he did get chained down, but he did manage to get it uh, close enough to the stand in doing so. You know, you avoid a lot, you get some chain fire if you got chasers close, but it does avoid a lot of the scope fire that you get running some of these higher routes. And that paid off in the uh, last point. And Icarus uh, is up two to nothing here in this match tonight. Yeah, I mean, one of the big things is that Icar or Icarus, Area 51, I mean, both teams missing.